Got an HVAC blower fan that's not blowing. Let's open it up and see if we can figure it out. down to fix it man got another quick video here for you so the indoor blower fan up here in the attic is not working at all it's a very hot day and so the owner is trying to run their ac the unit outside kicks on but they're not feeling anything coming out of the vents and of course this blower fan is not turning on that's what their issue is so let's open this up and see if we can figure it out somebody has already taped our safety switch down so i guess we'll just leave that and uh, do our troubleshooting this way but uh, just be very careful with this this means that everything here is live the unit is plugged in right here we're gonna have to pull that plug when we start working on this but for right now i'm just gonna leave it plugged in so everything in here is live i don't have a jumper wire so i just grabbed this little piece of copper and uh, wrapped it with some electrical tape here so i can jump the thermostat bar here and so if we go from r to y that's to command cool so let's do that and this should click here in a minute there's the relay click fan is not coming on a lot of times you'll hear a buzzing from the fan if it's a bad capacitor i've got another video on that and how to change the capacitor in this case the capacitor is right here we can also reach in and give that fan a spin that might help get that fan going sometimes that will work let me try that real quick yeah, we're not getting anything even with trying to spin that fan. Now through the board, we can also command the fan to turn on, which is like basically at your thermostat, just like turning the fan to on. So let's try that by jumping R to G. The relays clicked right away, but we are not getting the fan motor coming on. So again, this is just one way that you can do that. You can also just, if you've got your phone, you can call somebody down below, have them turn the thermostat to on or set it to cool and then maybe just test the fan. But either way, our fan is not kicking on, not even by giving it a little push start. On these, usually when the fan goes bad, it will smell kind of like a burning electrical smell. I don't smell anything at all like that, but I am noticing over here on the board that there are some burn marks right here and right down here. So we might have a problem with this fan control unit. Now, another way that we can test and verify that our fan works is just by hot wiring it. We can actually hot wire our fan through the door switch and I'm gonna do that real quick. Disconnect the power before you do this. So I'm gonna do that as well now there's no power coming into the unit the capacitor's probably still got a charge and so just be mindful of that don't put your fingers on that but on this side i'm going to pull off this side of the door switch and then i'm going to come to the board and find the wire on the cool pin looks like it's this black one right here it says cool right above this black wire so i'm going to pull this off and i'm just going to plug this in to the door switch okay so that's now hot wiring our fan and it should turn on now let's power it up and there you go fan kicked on right away so the fan and the capacitor works let's unplug it so that's one way that you can basically hot wire that fan and we verified now that the fan does work so let's pull this back off and our door switch connector back on i'm going to put this back so that we remember where it went on cool so most likely what's happening is we've got an issue with this board, this control board right here, fan control board. And I noticed when I was pushing on this, that this block, this thermostat block looks really loose. So that might be a part of our issue, but these things right here that are burned on the board, that might be the issue as well. So I'm gonna call this a bad fan control board. We happen to have a replacement. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to change that out. Now here's our replacement right here. It looks slightly different, but the pins should all be the same. I'm gonna disconnect this board first from the unit just by squeezing these little white studs these little plastic mounting tabs let's just uh, carefully squeeze those in and pull the board gently outward okay there we go well look at that the thermostat block just came right off i didn't even tug on that i'm not going to disconnect any of these wires just yet so we can uh, have that for reference now here's where I would recommend that you do take several pictures, just to use your phone, take a, a lot of different pictures from a lot of different angles to make sure that you remember which color wire went where as you do this. But it's really not that difficult. The new board is labeled similar to the old one. So see right here, C for common. We're gonna pull that one off first. Just start transferring this over. So here's our C right here on this board. And that's all we need to do is one at a time, pull these off and transfer those wires. This one says S1, and right here we have S1. This one here says S2. And we'll just go down the line here. This one is D1. Here we have a D1 pin. Now these are some of the unused motor. We've got terminals for those here as well, for unused motor leads. Let's press those in. 
Next we have our neutral block. And so these are all gonna be the same, but they're four white wires. We'll just keep them in the same order, but it doesn't really matter. Just gonna pull these off one at a time and transfer them over to the neutral block on this one. They're marked as N1, N2, N3, and N4. This is the black wire for cool. We're gonna find cool on the new board, which is right here. This orange wire goes to heat. There's the heat pin right there. All right, now down on this side, we have a CXFMR. We got the exact same thing, CXFMR, and then a blue one here on the X, SEC, and there we go, same thing. The only thing that's left on this board is this plug right here. There's two tabs on either side, just squeeze those together and you should be able to wiggle it out. So here's our old board free and we can kind of situate this. Now it looks like this is a different style, but these are gonna also just press right onto these plastic tabs. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount this. Now it doesn't snap all the way through, but it looks like it's, looks like it's solid and secure on there. Let's just make sure we plug this one in. Whoops, <laughs> right after I said that. This will only go in one way. It has like a flat spot on a few of these sides. So let's just press that in until it clicks into place. Now we can do our thermostat wires. These just popped off of our board, which again, could have been our problem and maybe could just resolder that, but we got the new one here. So we're just gonna transfer these one at a time. So R, which is this bottom red one. Uh, next one here is white, which goes to W. And then we have this red and yellow wires on our Y terminal. The green wire here goes to G. And then the blue and white wires here go to C. All right, well, that's everything. Now, I'm just not real happy with this uh, these mounting tabs. It's not holding it as secure as I'd like. So I think I'll just break off these plastic tabs and put some screws in there. I just, I'll have to run down and, and get some screws, but let's test this and make sure that everything works now. So let's plug this back in. And now I could call the owner and have them turn it on, but I'm just gonna jump it here again with the R and Y to command cooling. There it goes. Now these little dip switches right here control that motor delay or the motor turning off and it gives some instructions here so you can change that if you'd like. I just left it at what it was set for the default setting from the factory. But this thing is working great and this is ready to roll, ready to cool the house now. Now it could have been the fact that this thermostat block had uh, come loose, but you can tell that there are some other issues here. We've got some burn marks here on the back along with the front. So I think these resistors have burned out and this board is trash. Now I'm making this for your average DIY guy just to help somebody save some money. Please be careful just keep in mind that you are dealing with high voltage here. And if you're not comfortable with this, don't attempt this on your own. Now, before I button this back up, I'm gonna go get some screws and uh, attach that board so it's nice and solid. But you can see that that's up and running. This is working. It's really not that hard. This is something you can do yourself. And of course, there's other ways to troubleshoot this board. This is just a simple way down and dirty to test and verify that that fan motor works and verify that our control board was indeed bad. I hope you guys liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. I'll get a link in the description to some of the parts and tools used in the video, along with a link to another video that I did diagnosing another blower fan that was not working and ended up being a bad capacitor. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.